Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. Today we're putting your Stoic knowledge to the test with 12 famous quotes from the great Stoic philosopher and Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. How well do you know his teachings in the Ultimate Stoic Quiz, Marcus Aurelius edition? Through this quiz, we are looking to enhance wellness of mind and spirit by investigating the teachings of one of history's greatest Stoic philosophers. Today, we're diving into the life, teachings and legacy of one of the most revered Stoics of all time, Marcus Aurelius. He was a philosopher king, and his book, Meditations, continues to inspire millions with its timeless wisdom. In this ultimate Stoic quiz Marcus Aurelius edition, We'll ask 12 questions about Marcus Aurelius's life, Stoic philosophy and his most important works. Keep track of your answers and let's see how well you know this legendary Stoic. Let's get started. Question 1. Who was Marcus Aurelius? A. A Roman general. B. A Greek philosopher. C. A Roman emperor. D, a playwright and author. The correct answer is C, a Roman emperor. Marcus Aurelius ruled from 161 to 180 AD and was one of the most respected Roman emperors known for his wisdom, humility and adherence to Stoic principles. Question 2. What is Marcus Aurelius's most famous work? A, Letters from a Stoic. B. Meditations. C. Discourses. On the shortness of life. The answer is B. Meditations. Written as personal reflections, Meditations contains Marcus's thoughts on Stoic philosophy and how to live a virtuous life. It wasn't intended for publication but became a classic of Stoic literature. Question 3. Which Stoic principle did Marcus Aurelius emphasize the most? A. Uh, detachment from wealth. B. Courage in the face of adversity. C. Living in accordance with nature. D. Avoiding public office. The answer is C. Living in accordance with nature. Marcus often wrote about how everything in life follows nature's course and that we must align our actions with the natural order of the universe, which is a key Stoic idea. Question 4. In meditations, what did Marcus Aurelius say about external events? A. They're under our control. B. They don't affect virtuous people. C. They are neither good nor bad. D, they are the will of the gods. So the correct answer is C. They are neither good nor bad. Marcus believed that it's not the events themselves, but our reactions to them that matter. Stoicism teaches that we should not be disturbed by external events as they are beyond our control. Question 5. Marcus Aurelius was part of a group of Roman emperors known as... Uh, the Five Good Emperors. B. The Julian Emperors. C. The Golden Emperors. E. The Stoic Emperors. The answer is A. The Five Good Emperors. Marcus was the last of the Five Good Emperors, a group known for their wise and just rule, including Hadrian and Antoninus Pius, who adopted Marcus as his successor. Question 6. Which of the following is a key teaching of Marcus Aurelius? A. Wealth is the greatest virtue. B. D. B. Avoid all forms of physical discomfort. C. Everything is interconnected. D. Revenge is a form of justice. The answer is C. Everything is interconnected. Marcus often wrote about the unity of all things and how each part of the universe plays its role in the greater whole. This belief aligns with Stoic cosmology which views everything as interrelated. Question 7. How did Marcus Aurelius view death? A. As a tragedy. B. As the end of the soul. C. As a return to nature. D. 
as a punishment from the gods? The correct answer is C, as a return to nature. Marcus believed that death is a natural part of life and should not be feared. It's simply the process of returning to the same universe that gave us life in line with stoic acceptance of fate. Question 8. Which emperor did Marcus Aurelius co-rule with early in his reign? A. Hadrian. B. Commodus. C. Lucius Verus. D. Severus. The answer is C. Lucius Verus. Marcus Aurelius co-ruled with Lucius Verus from 161 to 169 AD. Lucius handled military matters while Marcus focused on internal governance and philosophy. Question 9. What did Marcus Aurelius say about handling insults and criticism? A. Always defend yourself. B. Take them as lessons. C. Ignore them entirely. D. Remember it is the opinion of others. The correct answer is D. Remember, it is the opinion of others. Marcus reminded himself not to take insults personally as they are merely the opinions of others and we should focus on maintaining our own integrity and virtue. Question 10. What Stoic practice did Marcus Aurelius regularly use to prepare for challenges? A. Meditation on death. B. Visualization of adversity. C. Practicing voluntary discomfort. D. Avoiding pleasures. The answer is B. Visualization of adversity. Known as premeditatio malorum, or premeditation of evils, Marcus would mentally prepare for challenges by imagining potential difficulties and how he could respond with calm and virtue. Question 11. Marcus Aurelius advocated for which of these attitudes toward others? A. Compassion B. Indifference C. Harsh judgment D. Superiority The correct answer is A. Compassion. Despite his immense power, Marcus emphasized compassion and understanding toward others, believing that everyone is doing their best according to their abilities and knowledge. Question 12. How did Marcus Aurelius view his role as emperor? A. As a burden. B. As a divine right. C. As an opportunity to serve. D. As a reward for his virtues. The answer is C. As an opportunity to serve. Marcus saw his position as emperor as a duty to serve the people and the state. He approached leadership with humility and the stoic belief in acting for the common good. So how did you do? Whether you got every question right or learned something new, remember that Stoicism and especially Marcus Aurelius's teachings are about progress, not perfection. Marcus Aurelius left us with timeless wisdom on how to face adversity, live with virtue and maintain our inner peace no matter what life throws at us. Don't let Stoic wisdom stop here. Arm yourself with the insights from one of the greatest philosophers of all time, Marcus Aurelius, and apply these teachings in your everyday life. If this quiz has inspired you to dig deeper into his teachings, Make sure to check out his meditations and other Stoic resources. Thank you for joining me for the ultimate Stoic quiz, Marcus Aurelius edition. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button to evoke Stoicism for more quizzes, insights and Stoic wisdom. Until next time, keep practicing, stay mindful and live with virtue.